How many different triangles can you make on a 3 by 3 pin geoboard? How many different triangles can be made? What if you allow congruent triangles? What's the perimeter and area of each triangle? And what other questions could you investigate? Okay, so a few classroom logistics then if you're going to use this task. Now obviously you can use geoboards if you're feeling dangerous. Or like I did with the year 7s recently, I got a few sheets of A4 dotted paper and I just guillotined them down the middle. So they each had half, half a page each. And then anyone that's seen any of my tasks before, I'm a big fan of those tasks which start how many dots or something like that. So it gives, us, it gives pupils an excuse to, to split the dots up in this case, into a 3x3 three three pin geoboard, and we can quickly count the, count the dots if we want by knowing our, our 9 times table. Obviously, an extension to this task could be to change the grid side, that's a, that's a natural extension to this task, uh, but in this particular case, we're doing a 3x3. Three three. So, every kid has um, a blank one like this, and then before this, I'll do some visualizer work or whatever over uh, going through the, the types of triangles, so I'll talk about scalene, isosceles, and um, equilateral triangles, and also the fact that um, some of those, um, specifically the scalene and the isosceles, can also be right angle triangles. So we'll go through all that, a bit of instruction beforehand, and then I'll set pupils off on trying to draw as many different triangles as they can, and can they label them equilateral, um, isosceles, scalene, and so on. Um, okay, so if you've not had a chance, have a go at this task now, and then we'll go through how many different solutions there are. So hopefully you've had a chance to have a little go at this task then, and you've drawn some triangles, and you're probably wondering if you've found them all, which is something that you'll find happens in the classroom. Pupils are really eager to know if they've found every combination yet. And by every combination, we have to have those discussions naturally in the classroom as, as to what do we mean by a similar triangle and what do we mean to a congruent triangle. And we have to set these rules that say this triangle here Sorry if I'm drawing it freehand, I'd tell my pupils off for that. And uh, this, pu this triangle here, we, we mentioned that they're, they're congruent, they're the same triangle if you was to rotate this one um, round. So all these natural discussions happen, which is really nice in the classroom. Um, then we've narrowed it down, and I, I, I like to get pupils to the board here, and basically they, they draw on one of their triangles, and then we have a class discussion. Is that a new, new triangle that we've not discovered yet? Or is it congruent to the one of the ones we've drawn? And they'll keep drawing, they'll keep coming up and drawing different triangles until eventually we get to a point where, uh, when a pupil comes up and they're convinced they've found a new one, um, the rest of the class will shoot them down and say, "No, we've already got that one." And that will happen. And that's the point where hopefully we have found them all. So, did you find them all? Is the question. And um, spoiler alert: here are all the answers. There are eight different ones to find on a three by three grid. And then we can identify each of these types, isosceles, right angle, and so on. And why, why aren't any of them equilateral is another, is another question you can investigate. Um, I really do like this task because it's so, it's so extendable as well. Like, you don't have to do it with triangles. I've done this with quadrilaterals as well. And later on, I did this with year 7s recently, but later on, maybe in year 9 and year 10, when you've done a bit of Pythagoras, you might start talking about the perimeters of all these triangles as well. And it's up to your imagination. There's loads of things you could, you could run with with this task. One other nice prompt, which I'm going to leave you with, and I'm not going to give you the answer to this one, is what if you um, don't count congruent triangles? So going back to, uh, say, this one, what if you count this one and this one as a different triangle? then how many different triangles are there now? And you want to look at like the rotations of each one. So how many different types of this triangle would there be? And hopefully you can visualize there would be um, four of these uh, triangles, I think. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on Twitter, but each of these, there seems to be like a power of two copies of each triangle. So I'll leave you with that one. How many different triangles in total are there?